Yo, what's going on, gang? God, dog it, I'm disappointed. We just missed Citadel and the boys over here. I checked on these fine folks about 45 minutes ago or so, and they were still there. That's about midnight their time. Um, yeah, so god dang it. Hopefully they get some rest here this evening. The market's opening up in a couple hours pre-market. Uh, get some rest, guys. We're going to check on you tomorrow after hours, see how you're doing. Um, let's touch on a few things here. I got a wild, madness, crazy, weird, goofy citadel kenny griffin uh clip i want to show you at the end here let's touch on this dark pool madness the shorting that was the kitchen sink the uh refrigerator stove the toilet everything they threw at us today boy they just tried hard but this 55 60 dollar level you guys it's just Right here, I think we dipped down to 53 bucks or whatever it does. But again, back to last week, that 55 to $60 range, we are just right there. It's zone of strength, whatever the hell you want to call it. We are hovering and we are staying in that channel. Um, obviously, we know here, like we touched on last week in that video, hammered, 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 hammered. GME was like that. Uh, GME and, and uh, AMC today were identical charts most of the day. If you compare those two, they're just identical, as we've watched for six frickin' months, right? Now, let's touch on a little bit of a conspiracy theory thing here and a quick little note on this crypto. This here, you guys, last week, I was thinking myself, too, Friday, whatever it was, with this Juneteenth holiday, came up so quick now by no means am i saying i believe this but it's kind of a crazy little conspiracy thing here but it also had me thinking too like where did this come from out of nowhere and then all of a sudden on the quad witching day the uh, scc is shut down they're they're not there on that important day so whatever the case might be but i found this kind of interesting right exposed juneteenth holiday was a smokescreen to commit fraud before nsc 002 happens so let's just touch on a little bit here shout out to the invest kid that put this thing together here does anyone else find it curious that congress created the juneteenth holiday so quickly this week right in my honest opinion, the observance of Juneteenth holiday was rushed into existence this week for a purpose beyond observing equality. Its intention was to immediately get the federal financial regulatory employees out of their offices on Friday. It just so happened that Friday was quad witching day. Now down below here, this is what this guy thinks here. I believe hedge funds, market makers, shorts were majority liquidating fraudulent positions on exchanges, dark pools, Anywhere they could on Friday, June 18th, why no one was there in preparation for 002. Hmm, makes sense. Kind of a big stretch, but still, that, that whole thing was weird. That whole holiday out of nowhere. Since when do you have a federal holiday come in just out of nowhere and you shut? I, I don't know. This world's weird. Let's touch on crypto like we did about a month ago. Remember that massive dump off? I've been watching this closely the last 32 hours or so. It has gone down. Dogecoin was down to, Jesus, was like 16, 17 cents earlier today. It's back up to 19. But, you know, everybody says, hey, you don't want to blame it on the, the China. And then everything follows Bitcoin. This is a, a lot of monster moves here, you know. But all these charts, you know, everybody will tell you, oh, crypto, Bitcoin follows it all. But, I mean, they're all the same pattern. They're all selling off. You know, everything is. You just go down the damn list here and, you know, everything. So who knows? Zero zero two. You know, it's going to be interesting this next few days, and then Wednesday, as we know, the big news of the day, um, as we know, I'm sure all of you know by now, is uh, Wednesday the zero zero two will go into effect. I think that is Wednesday morning. It will. Remember, they got an hour to get their shit together. If anybody finds them having a monstrous risk, which, uh, yeah they do it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out in there but definitely a favor for amc gme guys and the whole market going forward it really is um then also to the ortex here keep in mind here is your monday's changes uh borrowed shares were 6.48 returned 3.89 for a borrowed change rate of 2.59 milli and then uh, here's your utilization up here I expect with today's activities, this utilization will probably be up 97, 98% or whatever it's going to be. Still high, either way you want to slice it and dice it. Uh, the dark pool bleepery, as we know, as of right now at the price we're at, 657,000 uh, calls in the money, another 24,000 at 60 buckaroos. 
Uh, dark pool's not showing up. Doesn't matter. Shares available here. You notice how this doesn't move anymore with all this dark pool activity going on? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And then the dark pool guy again here. Shout out to Mr. Appropriate Elk. He fired this thing up here about an hour ago, it looks like. But anyway, dark pool, dark pool guy here with your Monday midnight DP report. And I'm not talking about Kenny's wife. Oh, low blow, dude. Low blow. Total position plummeted $900 million today into the financial black hole that is covering AMC naked shorts. Defending AMC's rank at the number one most leveraged position in the dark pool. Negative. Look at that number. 27 bill. Hello. Yellow. Good night. This here was a son of a gun. I stumbled across this, I think, so, I can't remember. Twitter, somebody had this link in here. Uh, Lou Rockwell. But anyway, this is a damn doozy of a video here. This is, again, put together by a Dutch creator right here. You guys watch this. But just some of these key points. This is basically talking about Vanguard and BlackRock. Remember how big of holders Vanguard and BlackRock are in AMC. Monstrous. But uh, Vanguard BlackRock, a Bloomberg report states that both of these companies in the year 2028 together will have enough uh, have investments in over $20 trillion. That means they will own almost everything. Bloomberg calls BlackRock the fourth branch of the government. <laughs> but you guys, seriously, this was a, a very good watch right here. This thing's about 45 minutes long. But it goes over a lot of uh, all the banking and then just how big Vanguard and BlackRock are. Um, Jimmy Kramer, I'm just so sick of this dude. He said something today on the, I was going to try to find the video clip, but who gives a rat's ass? This is all you need to see right here. As, as Wall Street bets lost its mojo. In his no huddle offense segment, Kramer said that Wall Street Bets crew may have finally lost its mojo after the group's big initial win in GameStop. Yeah, six months ago, Jimmy. Every subsequent recommendation has only lost people money. Hmm. Kramer said that Wall Street Bets crew doesn't have enough firepower to prop up more than one or two stocks at a time, which is their attempt to recommend Wendy's, uh, CR, SR, CLNE, WOF, right? I, I don't remember um, anybody talking about those stocks. I know they were mentioned, but <clears throat> by no means are we trying to pump those up. So just fodder Rooney by Mr. Kramer. Even GameStop continues to be called into question as the company has yet figured out a plan to save itself beyond its ailing retail business. Everyone loves a winner, Kramer concluded, but when you start losing people money, they stop paying attention very, pretty quickly. You know, this guy, he will never bring up anything to do, although his old videos, and I touched on that probably a month and a half ago where he's exposing the hedge funds and going over all that, he does not do that whatsoever at all. All he wants to do with AMC and there was about a four-minute clip of him today is talking about fundamentals of all of these companies, okay? That has nothing to do with Zip Zero El Zelcho that's going on with the market, manipulation, shorted to death. Sir, please get out of the pockets of these hedgies, will you? Please, my gosh. This was creepy. This was creepy. Take one quick one-minute listen to this, and I'm going to share this. And the reason being, this will get you, if you guys are staying up, for the next couple hours for pre-market, the uh, amount of downvotes here and then the comments. I started reading through the comments and almost fell out of my bed again. Just absolutely outstanding. But listen to this little creepy thing real quick. Our final honoree was a math whiz and natural entrepreneur who started a successful software business in high school and later launched a career characterized by innovations and new ideas. But Ken Griffin wasn't the only one in his family with an entrepreneurial streak. His grandparents owned and operated a small business in Chicago's northern suburbs. My grandfather was a great inspiration to me in how I thought about building Citadel and the importance of perseverance and hard work. He dove into the stock market as a Harvard undergraduate and convinced the facilities manager to let him install a satellite dish on the roof of his dormitory so he could receive real-time stock quotes to trade convertible bonds. He launched his first fund shortly after his 19th birthday. After graduation, Griffin moved west to work at a Chicago investment firm. 
but he soon struck out on his own, starting a hedge fund with just two employees. 30 years later, Citadel employs more than 2,000 people and is recognized as one of the most successful and respected alternative investment firms in the world. Griffin is also a dedicated philanthropist and civic That's all we need to hear. But just remember, too, we know who we're up against. This guy, businessman, whatever he's done is very outstanding. 30 plus years he's had this company, as we just heard there. He is not going to let this thing burden the ground. Either that or maybe he just sells all his uh, condos like we talked about yesterday, throws some money in an offshore account, and we'll never see him again. Either way, he's going to go down fighting. He's had this son of a gun. He's made this monstrous. Does he have a monster ego? Of course he does. And he probably should, right? So the hell with that. I'll pop that in there if you want to... Uh, Read those comments for your viewing pleasure. I'm sure you'll get a kick out of that. I didn't downvote. I'm not into doing that crap. So anyway, but it's pretty comical, right? Okay, guys, let's do this real quick on the way out the door. Let's refresh this just in case somebody snuck back in. Ah, damn it. God dog it. Okay, cool. All right, guys, I'm going to upload the son of a gun. Uh, read through them comments if you're staying up tonight. That'll give you a couple hours worth of entertainment until the market opens. I'm staying up too. I got to check in on this madness here. So let's have a good rest of the week. Remember, Wednesday's a big day. We got these FTDs all week. Let's get fired up. All right, guys. See you later.